Good day, wizards, and welcome to Lesson 3 of Life Skills. Today's lesson titles read, Interpret and Perform. What are we learning today? We have learned about this section in the previous terms. So what makes this term any different, you may ask? Well, this term we are looking at songs from the protest actions to interpret in our own way to make it fun when we perform it. The reason for this type of song is because they have a deeper meaning to them and an understanding to South Africa. And so our lesson will cover this topic in sing and dance with a little drama. Protest. In South Africa and all over the world there is a long history of protest songs. These are songs telling people in power and politicians that the people are angry and want change. Let's look at the activity. Composing our own protest. Number one, in groups of six, decide on a social or environmental issue that you feel strongly about and write a poem about it. Number two, put the poem to music and perform it for the rest of the class. The next activity reads, let us perform. Number one, using your poem as an inspiration. Create a short play about the issue you chose. Number two, write your play with st stage di directions and music suggestions. Number three, perform your play to the rest of the class. Singing in three parts. Choir sing songs in multiple parts. This is possible because a choir is made up of singers. Singers in choirs have different voices. This means that a range of sound can be used. For an example, a choir made up of men and women will have bass voices, very deep. Also, and tenor voices and sopranos. The next activity reads singing as a choir. Number one, your teacher will divide your class into voice groups, at least three groups. Number two, you will be given a song to learn. Make sure you practice your part. Number three, your class will sing the song as...